Okay. Hey, Ben, how you doing? I'm great. How are you, Laura? <laughs> I'm good. Nice good. to see you. You too. Everybody out there in Leatherati land, we're here with Ben Carter. Mr. SCCC is competing for American Leatherman here at the ABW Weekend in Chicago. So welcome. Thank you. Glad to be here. It's beautiful. We it's nice it. to see you here. And speaking of beautiful, that's a pretty good looking package right there, I'll tell you. All right. So people that aren't familiar, tell them what, uh, what SCCC is. Uh, SCCC is the Southeast Conference of Clubs. Uh -huh. I'm the third title holder. And... Uh, Went to IML, and here I am at uh, ABW. And so, what made you want to compete for American Leatherman? Well, my first runner-up was to come, and he was unable. So I uh, took his place about four weeks ago. I found out. So here we are. And so I'm thrilled to be here. Congratulations. Thank you. So you had your judging today, yes. And uh, you practiced your fantasy, which I can't wait to see on stage. Yes. Uh, judging. Did they ask you anything that that surprised you? Leslie Anderson caught me off guard. Yeah. I was a little nervous. Had a dry mouth. But uh, she asked me, she said, you grew up, you live on a farm, right? I said, yes. She said, make the noise of your favorite farm animal. <laughs> so I thought, and I, I love uh, mimicking the bull. So I had to make the noise of a horny bull. Wow, I'm dying to ask you to do that sound again. But we'll, if you want to do it, go ahead. <laughs> that sounds like a date I've had yeah. before, so I love that. <laughs> and they're stomping and kicking at balls. So. Exactly. <laughs> So this weekend, uh, tell us what kind of things are going to go on this weekend with the contest. Oh gosh, well with the leather women and the leather boys here and the leather men, it's exciting because we have a lot of various fetishes and so tomorrow we do fetish and we do uh, on stage questions and then we have play parties tomorrow night. And, uh, so I just I email them back make it and for I those, say, I'm certain, but oh not napping. And then Sunday is the big contest and we end up Sunday uh, around 5 o'clock. Wow. That's a full weekend. Yeah, yeah, very intense. How's the experience been so far? Unbelievable. Yeah. The first night at Dean's house uh, with the uh, family, the judges, and the contestants, and the friends, Karen and George, unbelievable host, and uh, a great experience. It has been. Now, if you were uh, king of the leather world, what's one thing you'd change about our community? I would change as king of the leather world the fact that uh, I would like for all the men, the women, the boys, the sirs, the doms, the transgenders, the racists, everyone to love one another, appreciate one another, fellowship with one another, and be one big happy family. Cool. Now on Sunday night, when they announce the winner, and your name gets called, what's the first thing you're going to do? <laughs> well, I haven't, that hasn't happened yet. <laughs> and I've got some tough competition. Yes, you do. Yeah. Yes. Tom and Kai are great guys. They are. And uh, both deserve you the title. But, but if you do win, what's the first thing you're going to do? I'm going to probably uh, call my cub up to the stage and give him one big hug and thank him for all the love and support that he's given me. Right. Very cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to sit with us. I really appreciate it. Thank you, Lauren. All right. Thanks, Ben. Good luck. Thanks. So, hey, Tom, how you doing? I'm doing really good today. Excellent. Thank you for taking the time. Uh, we're here with Tom Savage, who is a uh, competitor for the American Leatherman competition this weekend in Chicago. That's right. So tell us a little bit, a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I'm uh, Mr. New Jersey Leather 2006, and I uh, was second runner-up at uh, MAL in 2006, and uh, got the opportunity to run uh, at ABW, and uh, I took it. I've been watching uh, the organization for several years, and... Uh, it signifies what I'm about. It's about family. It's about the heart, and uh, that's why I'm here. So. You, you took your time. You stalked the contest. You made sure I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. <laughs> so, so you had your you had your uh, your uh, interview today, and also your fantasy practice today. Uh, yes. Yeah. Now I wasn't there for the fantasy practice. It'll be a complete surprise for me this weekend. So, I'm looking forward to it. Though I hear it's hot. So, yeah. now with the judging though, was there anything that they asked you that took you by surprise? Um, actually, no. I, I, I really enjoyed it because they, you know, they, they wanted to know about me. Right. Um, you know, some of the questions that you get about, you know, if I were a dog breed and every other, all the other judges were one, what would they be? It wasn't anything like that. It was all about getting to know me. Right. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It was fun. Well, it's a very family-oriented thing in terms of our leather family. So, I could, you know, they're, they're after that. They want to know about what you're about. So, yeah, yes. which is cool. Is there anything that they didn't ask you that you thought they were going to? Um... I thought they might, they might ask me some history questions uh, about ABW, um, but uh, they didn't touch on it, any of that. It was really just a, I want to get to know Tom Savage. Right. So. 
And what's I mean, the end of the weekend has just started, but what's been your your, your most fun thing so far? Um, Honestly, it was probably uh, hanging out uh, at the archives and doing all of the uh, the interview, right? And uh, the camaraderie with the family and everybody that was there, all the contestants. I had a lot of fun doing that. Today. That was great. Really low pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was, was really nice. Now let's say on Sunday night they announce the winner, and your name is one that they call. What's the first thing you're going to do as American Leatherman? Um. Wow, I. I'm, I'm going to enjoy myself with my new family, right? And uh, let them know that, uh, that my family that's here, and all of us, we're going to spread it around. That's what uh, families. It's what it's all about for me. That's why I'm here. So. And anybody they select from the women or the boys will be a great family member for Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Yeah. And all the contestants that are here this weekend are excellent, excellent people. So. Another question I like to ask people is uh, to find out where you're going with this. Yeah. If you were king of the leather world, what's the one thing you'd change about our community? I would try to bring uh, I would try to bring some uh, some of the respect back um, that I think not that it's been lost everywhere but I think that we need to bring uh, the respect and the and uh, some of the uh, some of the common courtesy back I think that some you know a lot of people have kind of separated off in different groups and uh, and that's why I think that ABW is so great because it focuses on bringing family in. right. So. Very cool. Excellent. Well, thank you for taking the time to uh, sit down with us. Thank and I uh, look forward to seeing the fantasies and seeing the rest of the contest. Excellent. Thank All right. You. Thanks, Tom. All right. Hey, everybody. We are here with Kai tonight. Kai Eaton, nice to see you. How are you? I'm doing fine. Thank you Good. Now, much. you're here competing for American Leatherman. Yes, I am. Uh, during the American Brotherhood Weekend. Yes, I am. And you have another title, I believe. I have several titles. Uh, the titles are uh, Mr. Pittsburgh Leather Central, Mid-Atlantic Leather Sir, Jones Pond Leather, and the current one I have is Ohio Valley Regional Leather Bear. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, what made you select American Leatherman? Well, they've been trying to get me for American Brotherhood for five years, and I wasn't ready for it. And this, my journey from doing all the volunteering and helping and all that, it kept leading me towards this group. And so... Before Paula and all them asked me if I was going to do it, I beat her to the punch. <laughs> and I called her up and told them I'm going to do it. And I said, my heart said it's time to do it, so I'm here. So you're, you're now ready, you feel like you're ready this time? <laughs> yes. What changed? I don't know, it just the heart and the soul is saying that it is time to do it. And now is the time. Cool. So, um, I can't really say. I've had ups and downs in life, um, death with uh, the boys and things like that. And it just, I guess, with the journey I've had in the past, it's guided me over to this way to make sure our younger groups of men and women learn. And understand what family is about. Mm. This is a good place to do that too. Yes, uh, we're here about love. We're here to make sure all of our younger ones are safe and they know how to do stuff properly and to know what the meaning of giving to back to the community and our family. Mm. Good times and bad times. And there's some amazing competitors this weekend. Yes, there is. I was a little are... nervous with a couple of them, but I look at it this way. We're all families. Sometimes it's a hard choice of being a judge Yep. because you're going to choose one. Yeah. And a lot of them are good players out there, very good people, by heart and soul, but we're going to choose one. That's me. Anybody who enters these contests is a winner. We only have one each. You do. Now you had your judging today. Yes. Did they ask you anything that was a surprise to you? <laughs> well, yes, they did. And um, to what they did two two questions. And they asked me what is one thing that's not in my bio that is secretive. And 
That's a good question. So it was like, wow. Yeah. So I, um, I've been coming out and letting people know and shocking a lot of people where um, a lot of them don't know I have a disability and dyslexic and a reading problem mm. that um, I hid very carefully. I shock a lot of people when they have seen me go so far and doing stuff come to find out my disability. And the other was of what is one thing that is making you feel like a failure in life. Wow. And and I told him of helping a young one out, a little boy, to get off track. And I will say this one is doing a doozy on me. <laughs> and I'm asking, I actually got other people to help me out to help him get off the ground. Right. And just make sure he's safe. Those are tough questions. But, you know what? Tough questions come for tough people that just true to themselves and true to the community. Yeah. Well, I'm actually from Dallas, but I'm in. Was there something that they didn't ask you you thought they were going to? There's a couple of the judges. I didn't know what to, they were going to do or ask. Some of them see me at different places. They see how I play. They know I'm a switch player. So I didn't know what kind of questions that they were going to ask. And I was a little nervous about two of them. Right. And they were two of the gentlest ones. <laughs> I mean, they were all good. All the judges were good. Right. But it was like, whew, I was so worried <laughs> on the question. That's awesome. But it was all good. So now, uh, come Sunday night, yes. they announce the winners, and they pick you. We're just going to say that right now. They're, they're going to pick you. What are you going to do for the next year? Well, actually, I got my uh, fundraisers are already lined up and volunteering. And my goal is to try to get more people to understand about the family, the love. We don't do this stuff for money or anything like that. We don't do it for the name. We do it because we love to do the volunteer and do help and try to get more younger ones and older ones involved in helping out and see if we can get them to come in and join the contest and our family. Cool. That'll keep you, that'll keep you busy this year. And travel your ass off. I do, and half the places I go anyway, so it's like no big deal for me. Sweet. So. Well, Kai, best of luck. you got a couple more days ahead of you. Some uh, got both days of the contest, so you're going to be busy, so we wish you the best of luck. Thank you very much for having me here. Thanks for taking the time. Thank you.